Can you guys pop open the front doors, please? All right, folks, if we can get our, get reseated. I ran around the room very quickly, and I gave you a plan for community development and some observations that me and my partners have made about this area. I want you to understand a lot of what you're going to see is based on tourism models that we enjoy and electronic media, stuff that we know a lot about. But that doesn't mean if you're not interested in that, that we're not going to listen to your ideas. We need your ideas too. We have amazing technology at our disposal, and this is a testament to what can happen. We need to see more of these types of meetings on a regular basis, addressing all sorts of concerns in our area. So please do get in touch with us. So that said, let's get the party going here. Again, we are going to bring up first off, let me find the introduction. Uh, let's start, since we're close to home, let's start with Daryl Lashinsky. Right down the street, Boggs Township. He is the president of the Concerned Citizens Fighting the Boggs Township. Is it Dump or Landfill? Dump. Dump. They call it a dump. The guy at the DEP tells me it ain't, it ain't a dump. It's a, it's a landfill. But these folks see it as a dump. And, and these guys have been organizing, and they're doing just what Mr. Sir said. They're putting it out there, and they're, they're helping us take the fight to a regional level. So put your hands together for Daryl Lashinsky. He's going to tell you about what's going on at Bob's. Thank you. You don't like this, but I'm going to keep it real short. <laughs> uh, one of the things I, I want to bring to everybody's attention is that, that Clearfield County has a contract with Green Tree Landfill for, I think, about approximately 10 more years or better. So this landfill proposal for Boggs is not for the people of Clearfield County. We don't need it. Uh, one of the things that, that, that we feel is going to be the biggest problem is going to be the traffic. And I want to mention that, again, uh, I say I haven't touched on it some. Their proposal or permit application is for 25 years, so there's not going to be 500 trucks a day, five or six days a week for one year or two years. It's going to be for 25 years. They, they programmed about one-third of the property in this initial plan that they purchased. So the potential, I can only assume, can go on to more years than 25. It's, it's typical that all landfills are asking for permit extensions when they get partially full. I, I, I've heard rumors that Green Tree's actually seeking a permit extension now, and they've got 10 or 11 years left to go. Uh, also, the consideration on the truck traffic, when you, you say there's 250 trucks going in and 250 trucks coming out, if you divide that into the amount of minutes in a day, that's a truck every 2.88 minutes. They're not going to run from, the, the, the current township ordinance would require them to receive from 7 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon, I believe. They're not going to be running at 3 o'clock in the morning across the bypass, so you're going to congest that traffic into a 10, 12, 14 hour period. So it's going to be much more congested than that. I'm sure most all of you either shop Walmart, Lowe's, or use some of the fast food restaurants or so forth out next day. You've already seen the congestion that we have to deal with from time to time. It obviously peaks and falls, but What's it going to be like when you put that kind of truck traffic on? Uh, what's it going to be like when we get a, a light snowfall for the folks that are familiar with it? You've got Park Avenue extension where the road splits to go to Glen Ritchie. What's it going to be like when you can't get a, the tractor and trailers up over what we call Cars Hill? What are you going to do with them when they're coming every minute and a half? Where, where are they going to go? Uh, the turnout, turnout lane uh, from 879 on to uh, 153 at Lawrence Park Village I'll probably hold two or three tractor and trailers at a time. They're going to be back completely up the hill 
trying to get turned off to where you can't get through. I, I think that particularly the people in Clearfield and the people from Hotsdale and in between that travel routinely to, to Clearfield for work or for, for shopping, and et cetera, they're gonna deal with this for 25 years, maybe more. Is this what you want for your future? Personally, I live eight tenths of a mile from the landfill. That's one of the reasons why I don't want it. My son lives in Woodward Township, so it affects him. He lives right in front of me. My daughter lives in Lawrence Township in, in South Park, so it's going to affect her. It affects my entire family. It affects all my friends and neighbors. I, I just can't seem to find anything good in it for anyone. I realize that the township uh, tends to make a lot of money off of a, uh, the host uh, dumping fee, and our township is certainly not flourishing with money, and they could use it. But at the expense of the rest of the county, I don't think so. Daryl, can you explain to us where the process is right now? Because they did recently file for the for the permit, and explain the importance of the upcoming public meeting, please. As, as usual, I get ahead of myself. <laughs> they uh, they formally applied for their permit, I believe, uh, September the 25th. And I believe the LMIP meeting, which is the first first in a series of meetings with the uh, township, the host municipality and township supervisors will be present as well as any adjacent municipality supervisors, I believe, are invited, as well as the county commissioners. And I think they have recently changed that to where uh, Representative George will also be invited. And in Russ Township, they also invited a couple folks from the opposition group. That's scheduled for January the 11th. Sometime thereafter, who knows when. I, I, I think that's when the DEP really takes a very, a very serious look at the permit application to see if it is, if it's complete. If all those things would come through, then I would say in a reasonably short time thereafter, they may schedule uh, the, the first of a series of public meetings, I, I believe there'll be more than one. But the, those are undoubtedly going to be sometime into next year, at best. I think uh, the gentleman here from West Township can probably bring us up to date, but I, I think those are probably six to seven to eight months into it, and they have not had the public.